What up kids? Look, I'm back. I said I was going to come back and I'm back. So here I am. I am on fall break. Yes, it is glorious. Absolutely glorious. So I have my face on because I'm getting ready to go get a tooth fix. I am praying to God that it can just be refilled. I think a filling came out. But I'm praying to God that it can be filled and I don't have to pay like $700 for some crowns. So anyways, wish me luck. Send me good juju. But I'm back. I know you didn't think I would come back. You thought this was like a one hit wonder kind of video thing. But that's rude. Not to have faith in me, rude. Anyway, the other day, Actually, just let me go back a little bit. I have been enjoying my makeup so much. And it's really bizarre that in the midst of the growth of the makeup community where everybody was buying everything, including me, um, I just am excessive. I am very impulsive when it comes to buying something that I love. So for a long time, I just bought, 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 bought. And I had so many palettes that were still in the box that had never even been used before. You know, just doesn't make any sense. So over the last weeks and months that I have actually been back at work and having to do my face every day, I've just experimented and had so much fun. And all of that to say, I found this look that was so beautiful. And for the life of me, I can't remember what I used. And that's what I was gonna film today. I started looking around in my palettes. I don't know what I used. So I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing, show you what I'm doing on my eye bulbs, and uh, get ready for the dentist. So if you would like to see whatever it is I'm gonna come up with, with my fun experimentation makeup discovery, then please keep watching. Welcome to my face. I can't believe that I forgot to say that last time. So welcome to my face twice to make up for last time. Okay, so whenever I come on with my makeup already done, as far as my face makeup and all that jazz, I'm just gonna go right into the eyes because that's what we're working on today. I just absolutely do the same thing every time, which I grab a palette. This just happens to be the BH Naughty one. And you can see that I've actually hit pan on this cream shade. And I just go in there and take a smallish brush and put it right underneath my eyebrow. It just kind of highlights my brow bone, separates the eyebrow from the eyelid, and so that's what I'm gonna do now if I can find my brush. Where's my brush? When brushes disappear, it's rude. Rude. I just saw it a minute ago. Rude. Alrighty, here we go. I'm just going to put a little bit on this brush and just go right up underneath my brow bone. And just put a little bit of a highlight there. Let me put you down just a tad. There we go. So yeah. It occurred to me that I often just do makeup and don't tell you what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. Um, I think we are all just kind of creatures of habit, so there's a lot of things that we do the same every time, and there's other things that we just like, hmm, maybe I'll try this and see how this works out for this. And that's what I've been doing so much, and sometimes I'm just like, oh my gosh, everybody! And everybody being, you know, my makeup friends who care. Look at my makeup, I love it today! But, yeah, no, I have no idea what I used. I keep looking at these palettes thinking, maybe it was this. No. Maybe it was this. No. All right. So I'm just going to go into the Modern Renaissance because I got a brand new one because one of them, I broke one of them, so I have a new one. So I'm just going to go with it. I'm feeling this mauve brown, bronzy, dark, I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to see. But we're going to start off with one, one, one fresco. 
Juan Fresco. Right there. And that is gonna be our crease color. I'm gonna use my refer number one and do not judge the state of my brushes because they are dirty and I don't care. Okay? Okay. So I'm gonna go into Buon Fresco, which is kind of like a misty purplish color. Ooh wee, I forget. Ooh wee, I forget that uh, I need to tap off ABH shadows. But I'm just gonna get this going in my crease and once I get it nice and placed, I can go in with a fluffier brush and really blend it out. But that's a beautiful color. I need to find my little tap tap. Did you hear that? I have a little jar that I tap off my colors in before I put them on my eye. You can see on this one it didn't it didn't come in quite as hot, thank goodness. So this one I can place a little bit easier and not have so such a stripe that has to be blended out. And then I'm just darkening it in the outer corner, kind of concentrating it there because I'm just kind of making my shape. I just go out beyond my lash line a little bit and then right into the crease. If you go right into the crease and make that your darkest area in your outer corner, then you can definitely take a fluffier brush and kind of move it and blend it where you want it to go. Like that. So I'm gonna take my, I don't know, it's a Morphe brush. It's a Morphe times Arial brush. This one is number a A11, I think, and it's just a fluffy. So I'm gonna go in there and really blend and blend upward so that we have a nice fade going on in the crease. Just a lot of circles is the way I do it. I'll go right into the crease and then just kind of circle my way up. Now, I don't know why, but I have to look in several different mirrors, and of course I've lost my hand mirror, um, to see where I'm actually going. So when I look in this mirror, I can see this eye is much darker, so I'm gonna go back in and even these up a little bit. Eyeshadow is really a place and blend, place and blend, place and blend, and just see what you've got along the way. I've been having the most bizarro dreams, you guys, like just straight up bizarro. And this one is frustrating to me, one that I had recently. I've been considering getting a tattoo, and I'm pretty much a chicken, plus I don't have the money for it. But I kind of had this idea that since I'm such a lyric girl when it comes to music, um, to choose some of the, my favorite lines from some of my favorite songs and do that. Just have lines of my favorite songs as tattoos on various parts of my body. And mostly, I really want it to be on places that aren't even visible. But anyways, in this dream, I had a dream that I got a tattoo and I had it across my, my collarbone. On one side and on one side. Like it was one line, but it was separated right here. Which, to me, I think, oh my gosh, if you really did get it there, that would hurt. Plus, I don't think I would ever get a tattoo where it shows all the time. I kind of want it to be like a private thing that's just mine. There we go, you guys. Sometimes I just keep on blending until it looks how I want it to, and that's what I've done this time. Pretty even, looking good. I'm just gonna go one more time into Buon Fresco and get right in the actual crease on this side because I don't think I did it as well. Do you guys have like one eye that you always can do better? And I think it's because I'm right-handed. I always feel like my right eye is easy and my left eye is uh, complicated. But there we go. Now I was looking at the different shimmers in this palette and I thought I would use, let's see, it's called Antique Bronze and I guess that's the color description I was looking for. And then we've got Cypress Umber and these two look really good together. So I think I'm gonna put this on my outer lid and put this just as a darkening, use it to darken. 
And then I think I will go in with Veneer. Vermeer. <laughs> I never have been able to say these names on my lid. So that's probably what I'm going to do. But I always use my fingers for shimmer. So I'm going to go into this antique bronze and just pat it on the outer corner of my eye right here. This is looking kind of like what I was looking for. The look that I told you guys I liked. Maybe this is what I used. Maybe it is. Well, I'm so excited because I have a concert coming up on Saturday. Uh, Becky and I are going to see the All-American Rejects. And one of the guys, the lead singer guy, is um, from our area. I went to our high school. Not while we were there later. But um, anyway, so obviously we've always... Uh, I've got to learn how to talk and do makeup again at the same time, so bear with me. Um, not at the same time he was there, but we went to the same school. And he's related to somebody that I know. I'm going to go ahead and put the Vermeer on the inner portion and get that all nice and blended. And then I'll see if I want to go in with the Cypress Umber and make it darker if I already like it. I think I already like it. And I better get my butt in gear. So I'm going to go in with the Vermeer with my finger and just kind of overlap what I did already there with the antique bronze and go all the way to the inner and brighten that area up. Ooh, that's pretty. Woo! Anyway, I'm so excited about going to this concert. And then I've got um, Becky surprised me with Need to Breathe. So we're going to go see Need to Breathe on the 21st. And then... Um, going to see the temptations in the four tops on the 26th so I've got a lot of fun concerty stuff coming up and I'm excited about it let me just kind of blend that little line there I'm putting a little antique bronze on my brush and just kind of dotting it along that right along the seam where um, I kind of overlap them and I really think that the antique bronze is good enough for the deepening and the dimension I think if I went any further it would probably be too much so I'm gonna go in with my trusty fluffy brush and just kind of blend everything together but like I said, eyeshadow is like a bl place and blend thing. Place and blend. And then you just kind of keep going back and adding, which I really want my inner corner to be brighter. So I'm going to go in with my MAC 242, which is still the best brush ever invented. And I can't believe that they stopped making it in natural hair. But, uh, you know, the world doesn't always do things the way that I would like them to. So there's that. And then most, most of the time I just go in and kind of mimic on the bottom lash line what I do on the top. Um, this time I'm going to go in with a very little brush that I probably won't be able to find it either. Ooh, 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 ooh. Swing, swing from the tables of my heart. Okay, I'm going to go into um, Antique Bronze. And the thing about antique bronze is it's a it's a shimmer, but it's not a super shimmery shimmer. How's that for not making sense? It's not a shimmery shimmer. But it's really good for darkening. And I'm going to put it on my lower lash line, and then I'm going to go in with one fresco and um, really blow that out and bring it down some. I have found that I really like to bring my eyeshadow on my lower lash line down quite a bit because it really, and that was a Morphe E36, it's the most awesome brush for a lower lash line ever. Let me show it to you. It's just a tiny little nub. Perfect. And then I'll go in with the other perfect Morphe brush, which is the M507. 
<laughs> and go into Buon Fresco and blend this out. Then we're going to get busy with some uh, inner corner highlight and some eyeliner. And see that just smooths it out. I like it. Perfection. Nothing like a um, ABH blend. And I have been really not looking at makeup because I really don't need to spend money. And uh, so I haven't been spending money on makeup hardly at all. Just kind of like foundations and replacing things. I like. And so um, I haven't been paying very close attention to what's going on in makeup. I wasn't talking about Gin Love, but I still watch Gin Love. Um, I'm going to put this Ofra highlighter called Glazed Donut in my inner corner. I use this almost every day with everything. It goes with everything. But anyway, what was I even talking about? I have no idea. No idea. All right, in our corner, looking bright and fancy and beautiful. So that's what my eyeshadow looks like. It's similar to what I was looking for. It's pretty, I like it. So um, I've been experimenting with different uh, eyeliners and my trusty uh, Tarte Eyelash Curler Crope, so I had to bring out a new pretty one. It's gorgeous. I'm totally cool with it. And I'm also using Tweezerman sometimes. But um, I, they changed the packaging of my superhero uh, eyeliner and it doesn't last nearly as long as it used to. And I mean the actual tube. I used to be able to use it for months and now it feels like it gets done in like a month. Um, so I've got some different ones that I've been trying. I've got a... a Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelighting Pen by Clinique. I had pulled out the old favorite, which was the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen. And then I also have a brand new Trooper by KVD. But um, there was one that was really working well for me, and I think it's called Breakup Proof Eyeliner, and I've lost it. If you guys saw this table, you would so understand. Maybe this is it. This is it. No, nope, that's superhero. <laughs> anyway, just don't mind me while I search through all my stuff. Yeah, no, not finding it. Anyway, breakup proof makeup eyeliner is really good and uh, I won't be showing it to you today. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do my lashes and put on this, I'm just gonna use the superhero and then I am going to go in with some mascaras. I've got some new ones I've been trying. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't even know if it has a name, but how beautiful is that tube? Good gravy, it's pretty. My regular MAC on my lower lash line and then I'm going to put on some Christina Demi Wispies. using my KISS lash adhesive. So, that's what I'm going to do because you know I'm in a hurry now so I got to get going. So, we're going to get the rest of the eyeballs done and I'm just going to let you watch. going to curl my lashes, put on the winged eyeliner, put on the lower lash line, upper lash line mascara, and then the lashes and then we'll come and rejoin each other for a lip.
terrible things started happening when you walked away. So that's why I stay right here. Cause when all of my dreams seem so out of reach, your crystal. I'm gonna go in with some Kylie lippies and I'm gonna go on top with a shimmery Charlotte Tilbury little lip gloss. I gotta leave, I gotta leave, I gotta leave. I really feel like that doesn't match very well, but guess what? I don't have time to worry about it. So it's gonna stay there. I'm gonna go over my lash line here with some ma some mascara, not mascara, some eyeliner and uh, make sure this is attached well, which I can see that it is not because I'm stuck over here. And There's a hair sticking out of it, you know, always something. So, I'm gonna do this, get these propped up properly, and there we are. There you have it. <laughs> Let me back you out a tad bit so you can see it. And then I'm going to lock it all in with some Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I would use a whole bottle of this stuff. It smells so delicious and it feels so lovely. Gonna get this all locked in, do some glamour shots for you, and then I gotta get the heck out of Dodge, folks. Let's get some glamour shots going in. Three, two, three, two, and one. It's an awful house and I wanted to get you out I'm working on a plan right now To come through I've waited for a lifetime for you To calm down Oh, nothing feels the same without That I'm afraid But we can make it go away I hope you hear the things I say When I'm choked up next to you I've waited for a lifetime for you To come down Oh, nothing feels the same Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I love the way it turned out. It's so pretty. Let me go get my tooth fixed, whatever that entails. But thank you for hanging out with me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and click that cute little notification bell wherever it is so that you don't miss any of my future uploads because there's going to be some more. Don't doubt me. Think I won't when I will. Think I will when I won't. Think I won't when I will. 
Don't doubt me because it's rude. Rude. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. And I will talk to you next time. Take care and God bless. To carry on again, swing, swing from the jungle's oar.